things you didn't know you could make with Canva, part 73. Let's create a custom collage frame like this using any shape in Canva. This can be done in the free version, but it does have a few steps, so stick with me. Start with a blank page, go to the Elements tab and search for a shape, then add it to your page. Press L on your keyboard to add a line and start separating your image into segments. When you're finished, download that page as a PNG to your device. Next, go to the free website Convertio and upload your image. Just drag it into the window. Click on the drop down menu and select Image as SVG. Download your new SVG image. Now go to the free website Figma.com. Once inside Figma, click Create Design. Drag your SVG into the window and click on the image. You'll have two options here. One is for the background, the other is for the image. Make sure you click on the image itself. Then go down to the option where you see fill and click on that little fill color. Up here at the top, you have some icons. You want to select this one right here that looks like an image. We're going to fill this with an image. That's how we're going to turn it into a frame. So click on the image and then upload any image from your computer. That image gets placed inside of your SVG. Go to the bottom of the menu on the right hand side, click on export and export as a PDF. And click export group. Take that PDF and drag it back into Canva. It will go into your uploads as a design. Then add it to your page. You now have separate sections of your collage for images. Each one of these separate sections is its own Canva frame. Right click on any one of those frames and select detach image and then delete the placeholder image. And you are left with just that piece of frame. Continue to do this for all of the other pieces. Select all of your pieces and group them together. Go back to Elements and drag your favorite photos into each of the frames. When you're finished, you have a complete custom collage that you can use for your social media accounts. Use this to highlight your favorite products, celebrate milestone birthdays, or anything else you would like. If you want more ways to create your own custom frames, I have a complete guide and mini course available on my website. You can find the link in my bio.